following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the, uh, where is she? sorry about this, folks. We have the Dow Industrials uh, trading up uh, 263. You get the NASDAQ up 76. S&Ps are up uh, 31. Gold contracts is down $11, trading at 12.83. We have silver up 4 cents, $17.46. Platinum's up 11 at 9.81. You get the 10-year notes. Down uh, 14 ticks, 130, 113, 30-year bond off a full point, 13 ticks, 167.26, and good old King Dollar. King Dollar is down uh, 725 ticks, 93.61. You got the euro up 68 at dollar thirteen, and the yen is trading at 104.50. If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see the banner on the top, on the side. You can hit the banner, bring the exchange up. We'll walk through how we trade these defined option contracts and volatility. We have it in spades. You have the bot, you have the uh, Brexit uh, vote coming this Thursday, which is the 23rd. And uh, bottom line is that uh, if you hadn't, uh, one second, if you uh, had listened to uh, our man, Mr. John Logan, this morning, uh, great show, great show, uh, uh, and great background uh, information about uh, just how this uh, came about uh, with uh, Cameron uh, basically. Uh, calling for this when he was going for re-election the last time. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We go over and we take a look at these markets. So let's start with the uh, E-mini. Uh, actually, let's go, let's go over to the U.K. first, because the U.K., uh, so if you look at percentage-wise, this is what we have. You get big percentages over there. The FTSE's up 2.7 percent. The DAX is up 3.2. Um, we, we go over to the FTSE. What we're going to see here is this. FTSE right now got up to a price point today of 6,236. Uh, the beginning of the downdraft was um, 6,000. Well, the swing point is 6,300, so it didn't get up to that area. Uh, the 6,231, which it looks like it was testing, it looks like it's going to fail it. So uh, volatility, yeah, in spades, big time. We go and we take a look at the DAX. The DAX in Germany, same setup in the DAX in Germany. Uh, it's up $310 right now. Uh, it had hit 99.96. Right now, you're at 99.41. Gold contract. What do they do with gold? Bottom line, they can't push it down. Uh, gold uh, has done 127,000 contracts. You're down $11.37 and 30 cents rather. Um, you're trading out at the uh, 12.83. And what you had with gold, with the XAU, with the HUI, with the GLD, all of the above, folks, they broke B points. They broke them with volume. Once again, last week, you get monster ABC structures on the way up. And what I expect you're going to see here, the D to C to uh, ABC, yeah, your C to D point has already started. And that also is going to be a straight line move. We go up and we take a look at the euro. What do we have? Well, let's go to the dollar first. We take a look at the dollar. This is what you have uh, inside the dollar. Uh, dollar right now, you're down 700 ticks. We're trading 11,000 contracts. And, you know, that's, that's basically light volume going against this uh, lower swing point. The lower swing point had 27,000. We'll see uh, how we uh, come into that swing point. That's $93.38. Right now, you're at 93.64. What I expect you're going to see is that you build a little cause. You'll break this swing. You're going to go after the next lower swing, which is the $92 area. And more than likely, the way this uh, is setting up right now, it looks to me like it actually wants to run down into the... 88 area, which is the highs of 2008, 2009, and 2010. If we go up and we take a look at that bond market, bond market uh, 
made higher highs last week. You had the volume behind the move. This morning, we get the 10-year note down 14 ticks. You've done 564,000 contracts. That is coming into 1.6 million contracts. So we're going to need a lot more volume uh, to basically break that level. I don't, I don't expect we're going to break that level, by the way. This, this looks to me like a pullback in a market that wants to go higher. Um, we hit a high uh, last Thursday at 132.22, and it has the volume up at that level. Uh, we go take a look at the dollar, in, I mean the 30-year bond. 30-year bond is backing down uh, a point and a half today. We are at the 167.26. That is backing down with uh, 117,000 contracts. The 30, this is really light volume. Uh, you, you're, coming, you're coming into 277,000. You're coming into 276,000. Uh, we have a high volume swing point out here from last Thursday. That last Thursday was 17107. So what that also sets up is that look, that looks to me like it wants higher price and it very well could be an additional ABC structure on the way up. So pretty intense out here. Some of the higher volume stocks that we have. Oh, and what we add, so check this out, folks. And this is, this is your confirmation. One of the confirmations is your probability that you're going to still continue down. And this is what it is. So check this out. This is, this is about as intense as you get. Now, we had option expiration, but guess what? Where the volume goes, market wants to go. Market went down to 2.1 billion shares versus 989 million on the NYSE. Last Friday, and on the NASDAQ, it went down 2.6 billion versus 1.8. You stay right there, folks, and come right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. So we have the Dow Industrials right now up 255. You get the Nasdaq up 75. S&Ps are up by 31. And if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, folks, great time to do it. Great week to do it. We're going to have high volatility each and every day, more than likely this week. Come over to our website at TFNN. Hit the banner. You can bring it up. You can test drive these contracts. They'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. Uh, so when you see this type of uh, volatility, uh, you can have a defined trade on. Now, what will happen more than likely, well, what would happen when we pulled up the Nadex platform this morning, they are also telling us that they, they expect also higher volatility, so your spreads will be a little bit different, the volatility, the premium will be a little bit more. Bottom line, it's going to be pretty heavy uh, out here in the next few days. Now, if we go over to this platform, well, first off, let's go, let's go into the gold contract first. So if we go over to gold, we take a look at gold, what we have is this. Gold out here this morning has traded to, down to a low of 1280. Right now you're at 1284. And what you what you have here is that this little baby's bouncing along the lows that were established out here uh, on Sunday night. Sunday night it got down to uh, 1279. Uh, bottom line, you, guess what? Dollar is dramatically lower. This little baby wants higher price. Uh, that being said, if you do go over to this contract here, what you'll see. Uh, out here this morning, I did a couple trades. So this morning, commodity spreads, if we go inside the commodity spreads, what you're going to see is that you have a spread that's laying out there from 1275 to 1325. And uh, when I actually got in this right now, I believe I got in, let's see what I got in at. So I got in at 12.84.7. So just barely a little bit uh, higher than where it is, 12.84. Seven. So in that case, I was risking. If I'm buying that, yeah, I was risking. So this is how this one works here. Twelve eighty four seven. Per contract, I was risking ninety seven dollars um, for max profit of four oh three. Now, I certainly doesn't don't expect this to go up to the thirteen twenty five. You know, it was trading at twelve eighty four. So when you take a look at something like this, you're you're Risk is a closing under 1275. That's where you'd lose the full $97. Bottom line right now, uh, on a couple con three contracts, uh, I'm basically even. It's down uh, 36 bucks, but that's the bid and offer. So uh, what I'm looking for there is this. Yeah, let's bring this up here. So inside that, this contract, you know, it's already made it to 1291. It made it up there uh, 440 this morning. Had a small bounce up at 8.30 to 12.87. I'm expecting this thing's going to crawl up into somewhere about the 12.91 area. Uh, why? Because that good old king dollar, folks, uh, is getting crushed uh, in, in a big way. Uh, and I expect that is going to continue, you know. Uh, if we, well, when we take a look at the NASDAQ composite now, okay, bottom line is that, well, for me, the bottom line <laughs> is on this NASDAQ composite. As I had said a little bit earlier, the, um, the amount that we went down on Friday, folks, is a confirmation that we want lower price. We've already broken B points of ABC structures on the way down. You, the, these fast market moves uh, and indications of uh, bear market counter trend bounces, which are vicious. There's no two ways about that. With that being said, so guess what? Uh, over inside the NDX product, what we have is that. Um, I sold this uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, if we take a look at this, if you go inside the NDX now, and what they have done is that they're putting many more strikes in because of the volatility that we have out here. So if we go into indice spreads, you go into U.S. tech, and you go into the dailies, what you're going to see is that inside the dailies, there's a spread out there that the, the, the top of the spread is 44.30. We're trading, uh, 44.50 rather. We are trading at uh, 44.31, uh, and I sold that spread at uh, 44.24, I believe. Yeah, 44.24.50. So what I'm looking for 
inside the NDX. We bring this back over here again. Uh, inside the NDX. So the, the NDX, the lows on Friday were 43.55, right? You're talking way down, right? You, what we just did is that we came up and we tested the highs that were generated out here going all the way back to, oh, she is right here, um, to the 14th of June. Now, the 14th of June, now, even though we, we came up fast and furious, you didn't have the volume. We had 16,000 contracts that were traded out there, and our first lunge up, we did it with uh, 14,000 contracts, then we made a high with 2,500 contracts. And you make a high with 2,500 contracts, folks, uh, as you're testing that high, that's saying that it wants to back down once again, and I suspect nothing heavy, but guess what? You know, you can be up 50 um, points instead of 70, you know? That's, that's the way this is shaken out. And uh, what, we, what we will see is that we'll see what kind of volume comes in on this move. If we go over to the SPY, what you're going to see inside the SPY is that uh, right now with 20 million shares, it's going into 117 million. We'll see whether that uh, holds. The SPY has hit 209.61 thus far. Um, it has to get into 210.37 before it does anything. 210.37 was how we came down on the 13th of June. If we go into the NDX 100, the three Qs, what do you have with the NDX 100? Now, this is the weakest. This is what's really cool about the NDX, man. The NDX is weak big time. So we're up on 7 million shares. That's going into 32 million shares. And thus far, it hasn't been able to even get to the lows of the downdraft that was created out here on the 10th. Um, so uh, the way that I look at that, that says to me, you know, with Europe being up big time, as we start going through the trading day, Europe's going to be open for about another hour and a half, I expect. You'll see Europe sell down slightly, we'll sell down a little bit more. Uh, we take a look at the uh, strength versus the weakness inside the NDX, I mean inside the Dow. Every Dow stock is positive, excluding Verizon. Verizon's down three-tenths of one percent. Goldman Sachs is the leader out there. That's up three percent, uh, 441. Boeing's up 2.7 percent. American Express is up 2.4. Inside the uh, NDX 100, this is what we have inside the NDX. Uh, oh, this is pretty intense. So check this out. This is really cool, man. So the NDX, folks, every stock is positive. Now, that is really cool. Why? Because if we go look at the leader is JD.com up 5.8%, Vodafone's up 4.3%. The laggard, the biggest laggard is Endo Pharmaceutical, which is flat. That's, it's up four pennies, actually. Okay. So what does that say? Well, let's guess what? You go back over to this NDX, we take a look at it, and you've got everything that's up. It's already off its highs, only by a few points. But guess what? Things don't stay up across 100 stocks um, for long periods of time. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We go up and we take a look at the uh, oil market, CLN6. So inside oil out here, oil is up 96 cents. You have uh, 26,000 contracts, and it's going to be a lot more contracts than that, man. We're going to need to, oil looks like, yeah, we can get 48.80, but you're at, you're at 48.90. I suspect that uh, this is right where it's going to have some. Uh... No, it can make the, it can make it a 50-32. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow Industrials uh, right now uh, uh, up 255. Nasdaq's up 76. S and P's are up 30. We're going to be right back. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows, and now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited time five-year market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally weighted performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities and the respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY a periodic rate of interest is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content 
Everbank is a member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 254, NASDAQ's up 77, S&Ps are up 30. We have gold down 12 bucks. You get silver up two cents. The notes are uh, down 13 ticks, 131.14. Bonds are down one full point, nine ticks, 167.28. King dollar, King dollar just can't handle higher price, down 700 ticks. Volatility Really in spades. Big moves. We talked about this this week was going to have some action right out of action. the gate. Action. And, you know, John Logan, folks, had a great guest on this morning, gave great background on the whole vote. It was really, it was a, cool. it was a, great, it was a great show. It was really a, a great show, understanding, um, you know, why this vote has taken place. Uh, to cut to the chase, uh, Cameron, the last time that the, the, the prime minister's race, which would be our, our president's race, was out there. Um, he had said that, hey, listen, you know, if you vote for me, I will let you have a referendum on whether you want to leave the European Union. And this is coming so back to bite is, him. This yeah. is the referendum. This is the referendum, you know. So, um, you know, volatility, yeah, it's going to be in spades. The uh, uh, king dollar can't handle higher price. Markets themselves uh, caught a bid. There's no two ways about that. The real question is, uh, is it going to keep that bid? Let's go take a look at uh, the XLF for uh, one of our tigers out here. So this is the financials. Um, the XLF out here today, you're up 43 cents. You're at $23.30, and you're going to need a lot more juice um, and price uh, in this particular case. You know, we'll see whether it can handle and stay above the $23.03. Uh, you know, it's it, it could go to 23.26, which is the downdraft of the June 3rd, and still wouldn't mean a thing. You know, uh, we, let's take a look at Goldman. Goldman is the leader out here. Yeah, that's a dead cat bounce. So Goldman's a dead cat bounce. And the the if a, on a fundamental aspect, the 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 Brexit is not going to help the financials. Um, the financials are going to be all about those bonds and those bonds uh, out here. If we even take a look at the ten and the thirty, what you're going to see is that you get a pullback today, and a pullback is on much lighter volume. You know, you're talking about the thirty. 122,000 contracts are coming back into 271, are coming back into 276. 
and the 30-year folks does a lot of its volume it's already done so I mean it'll do more volume but it's the, the morning is where all this thing shakes rattles and rolls uh, the 10 year is at 587,000 and that that's coming back into like 1.5 million so you're talking about a whole different ball game here right well actually right there yeah 1.6 million yeah at 131.02 so so we get some real action on here man it's going to be every day. Every, every Tuesday day. Tuesday is a big day, right? Is tomorrow the day that Yellen is testifying to Congress? Uh, it might be. F.E.D. And, and what you had, I was, I was saying a little bit earlier, Tom, is that when I brought up the, uh, the Nadex platform today to trade it, right, uh, it, what happens, folks, of course, every day you bring it up, they give you messages, and the message out there today was that you can expect higher volatility, that the, um, the premiums will be, will be bigger, cool. the spread you might think of... Uh, the spreads could be bigger. Sure. So they're giving everyone a prep show. Um, more that, premium, more volatility. Yeah, right, right. And be ready for it. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, let's see. Calendar. I don't know if it's going to be in the calendar, though, right? Because that's the I think, Fed calendar versus yeah, it, it just popped up over there. Oh, think, okay. But that's the Fed calendar, whereas this isn't a Fed calendar event. This is speaking to Congress, I think. What that Wednesday. Be? Oh, part two. One second. Hold it. Yeah. Yellow's testimony. So maybe both days. How can I get that? Yeah. I think it's both days. Okay. 10 a.m. Wednesday. Oh, I, okay. So Federal Chair prepared marks before House Financial. The same will be the same. Can I grab this month? Yeah, for a right. Okay. What we're looking for, folks, is... This is uh, one of these nice... I think we're just... There we go. I knew it was, yeah. So this is this is the U.S. week ahead. I like these okay. things. That's what we're looking at. So so she starts 10 a.m. Tuesday, tomorrow. Okay. And yep. then she does it again Wednesday, 10 a.m. Right. So, oh, my God. And then yeah. Thursday's the vote. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Um, existing home sales on Wednesday. What else do we have? Fed governor. Another Fed governor on Wednesday. And then, of course, Brexit. Jobless claims Thursday. Yeah. New home sales Thursday. Economic indicators Thursday. Another Fed speaker Thursday night. Durable goods Friday morning. Man. We got action, man. That is intense. That is. Of course, the Brexit will be big, but... And then what is number one and two? We didn't... Yeah, Yellen faces Congress. And another Fed speaking. Oh, today. Today, 12.15. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, for... <laughs> For the first week in the summer, it's actually the summer's today, right? Summer is today. Summer is today. Hope everyone has a great summer, folks. No doubt. <laughs> summer started today, man. The heat, the heat feels like. Um, yeah, we've been in summer for a while. That's the running joke, right? We've been in summer for a while, no doubt. Uh, if we go and we take a look at the the uh, XAU, the HUI, the XAU and the HUI, folks. If you happen to be in that market. They both pushed into their swing points. Their ABC structures, confirmed ABC structures on the way up, and they're monsters, <laughs> by the way. They are monsters. And if this thing, if, the, if in fact, that's what we have, okay, uh, and we're in the uh, C to D of this ABC structure up, man, get ready, because that was a straight line move. So, yeah. And we had moved straight from January, the week of January 22nd up till uh, May 6th. You know, so we consolidated for approximately two months, and, you know, we'll see uh, if this is it. But uh, the way both of the, not only the, the equities, the indices, all of them got over their swing points, had the volume behind the move, and you're talking about, uh, you know, the metal as well as the equities. So it's going to be wild watching that thing shake out. Uh, if we do go overseas, we take a look at uh, Asia first. Uh, Asia last night, you had the Nikkei up 2.3%. 2, 2 Hang Seng was up 1.6%. Shanghai couldn't move. That was up one-tenth of 1%. Now, Europe, a different ballgame this morning. Uh, FTSE, 3%. Uh, CAT, 3.6%. Uh, DAX, 35 But this is where percentage moves up versus down <laughs> still don't, you know, it means something. But because the FTSE is down from 64 27 sure since April it's like okay you know you need another move like this to, to get up to that sure. level yeah fast move though isn't that amazing yeah that's a big bar it's a, it's a big bar uh, the DAX in Germany same type of setup folks uh, DAX in Germany gapped away 
up 341 points. And it's, hold, it's holding price. I mean, it's off it a little, but it's still holding price. Now, the DAX in Germany uh, also has that high-volume swing low, and that's saying, hey, it wants to go get tested again. Uh, what you did do, uh, that's interesting, though, on Friday, on Friday it did push higher with volume. Uh, if you want to see, you know, people have been talking about Deutsche Bank in a huge way. Uh, Deutsche Bank, folks, uh, wants higher price. Uh, this is a classic, man. I was looking at this this morning. So if you look at Deutsche Bank, what you're going to see is this. Now, the stock's a mess, but what it's done, it's been testing these 2009 lows. Uh, gets into the low of $18. Yeah, as soon as we come back, we'll do this. This is Tom O'Brien. Tommy O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 240. Nasdaq's up 75. S&P's are up 28. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it, whether you're trading indices, commodities, currencies, uh, all of the above. Uh, so uh, we had option expiration Friday, right? Check this out. So option expiration, folks, volume just comes in. There's no doubt. And it doesn't always come in, but it came in big. So $2.1 billion on the NYSE. And on the NASDAQ composite, you had $2.6 billion. So when you take a look at this, folks, okay, 
what you have here is that you are pushing lower with volume expanding, you know, and yep. that's an indication that that's where the market wants to go. Um, and, you know, over the course of so many years now, uh, what does happen? I remember at the very beginning when you have an option expiration, people say, well, hold it's an option expiration. You know, you're going to have higher volume. And said, yeah, absolutely. But that's when, if you're a bull, you want it rising with higher volume versus going down. And then, you know, what did happen in 2000, which was, you know, pretty wild, is that the market had still been going up in 2000, but every once in a while, you'd have this push down with monster volume because WorldCom would be going out of business, other ones. And then the, the question would be, well, does it make a difference because, like, WorldCom just went out of business? And at that point, I didn't know. I says, well, you know, we'll find out. But what ended up happening, what we, what we didn't know is, guess what? All those companies were going out of business. That, sure. that it, it, what ended up happening is that that was like the first of many that sure. just blew up and went from 90 to $9. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that Big wild, time. though? Yeah. I, it's, you know. That it means something, right? That, yeah. And it, it means something. And, and that played out at the very beginning, folks. That played out over about six or seven months before the market really fell apart. Okay. You know? Um, so. So I'd pull up. I know you were telling me yes. your, your gold, your NASDAQ, you know, right. your, your long few... Gold spreads, you're short a couple of NASDAQ spreads, and you know, you're definitely getting some some movement. You get two dollars and fifty cents of gold movement since well, since you even pulled that up. And and I like the, the 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 gold trade, you know, folks, when when the when the dollar is down seven hundred ticks and gold is down twelve dollars, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the because the core the correlation is like you get well and you know, I was finishing up the gold report this morning, and the bottom line is that all these indices took out their swing points with monster volume. This wasn't even, do you know what I mean? And, and what happens, folks, is, is you, if you do have the aspect that you get the XAU, the HUI, the GLD, the actual contract, and then what you have on top of that is that people still really aren't really super bullish on gold. It's perfect. Yeah. It, you know, so the attitude is not, you know, the attitude is that, no, it's not going anywhere. Well, I'm not going to trade it, which is great. That's that's what it takes, you know. I mean, it's cool we pulled it up. This is getting quite a little run. Even right. Since it's up right. $2 since we just pulled it up right. 60 seconds ago. Yeah. And this is where, you know, if you listen to John's show this morning, it was, it was really cool because it was, it was a fundamental type of show, but it was really cool understanding really what the vote is about, number one. And then I was just looking at the bond saying, well, you know, we have this counter trend bounce that's huge. But when you listen to what the vote's about, then you listen to the bond market. It's like, okay, man, you know, bond market still is going to give us free money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, not yes. much has changed here. Do you yes. know what I mean? The, what has changed is that, yeah, the S&Ps are up 30 points, which is a monster move. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but that's, that's where, you know. Counter trend moves, uh, bear market moves uh, are very fast and furious, you know? Yeah, and like we were talking about during one of the breaks as well, fast and furious, there's going to be some premium priced in here, yeah, right? Yeah, right. I mean, I'm just curious myself. I'm going to take a look at these gold weekly binaries to see. Oh, cool. Yeah. Let's see what kind of prices these strike points have. So this is going to be the price of gold. Yeah. These are the binary options on the right. And I pulled it back just because I like reference of where it's going to go to. So, I mean, right away you can see that there's, and I think Daryl talked about this last week, where, you know, there's a more real, realistic chance of any of these numbers getting hit because of the volatility in play. Okay. So because of that, they're going to be closer to 50%. Yeah, the, I heard he said that on Friday. And that makes sense, right? So, so what you have so here... So walk me through that, hold on. Well, just from a common sense perspective, this is the probability of it expiring in the money. Right. So by the fact that there's just a lot more volatility, yep. these numbers are going to be closer to 50% than they normally would be because yeah. there's a greater okay. chance of that, of that happening. Right. happening. Right. And that's on both sides. That's on both sides. That's, that's across the board. Sides. Yeah. So right now we're at 1287, ballparking close to $40 up on a weekly. That's going to cost you $27. So you're, you're going to be you know, risking one dollar to make a little bit less than three dollars. That's, right. that's a decent, um, as in you're paying a decent amount of yeah. m money. I, I there. wouldn't do that one. Yeah, there's for I would, a forty dollar move. I would rather and do I, the spreads every day. Yes, and and they 
you won't pay such a high risk no. reward premium, whatever it be. Um, because even looking at $24 to the downside, you're only getting a two to one if you're selling at right. about 64. Right. We'll see where those come. Yeah, but that, that's, as, that's like, good Thursday to know. night, they'll be interesting to take a look at the same deal coming right ahead they of will. the real vote. They will. Because they'll be still pretty close, because this is going to jump around. Now, as we're saying this, I mean, this is, to put it back on a... Yeah, the, um, it looks like we're getting a move It's yeah. jumping huge. You can't yeah. see it on the, the chart. I pulled it back right. so much, but... Yeah, oof. we caught a bid. That is quite a quite a trip. Yeah, yeah it's, I'll tell you, folks, if this... It, it shows looked, a good it time looked, to it, be covering gold. It, it, totally. It show. looks to me that this is the C to D, man, of an ABC up, man, and if it is... Watch out, man. This will blow people. It'll Watch blow, out. This will blow my mind. I've seen plenty of them. But this would be, this is, because of the first move was so fast, it's like, you're going to be kidding me. Is this really going to be the move? Yeah, you I mean, know, it's, that's, I mean, it's, it's an $8 move in five minutes, you know, 15 minutes. So, yeah. It's not outlandish yeah. to say it could have some big action. No, it, right? no, exactly, man. All's what, and this is what's so deviant about the, that market anyway. Uh, what, what you have is that the, so it gets up to, what it did is that it got up to the swings, and it crossed the swings, it had the volume behind the move, and it's huge volume, and then it just backed off slightly. And that's a complex ABC structure up. So, you know, it, you can say, okay, hey, it failed to hold price, um, you know, and it did. Uh, okay, because it didn't hold that uh, 1306 uh, level. We, get, we closed uh, on the weekly at... Uh, 1292 uh, but when you have that type of volume behind it and then if you look at watch this this is like crazy because what I really like is that they are all and folks this is what's so cool is that when you're trading you know whatever vehicle you're trading it's great to look around at a few of the ETF structures inside that so you can get a better clue as to what is everything doing. So it'll give you a better probability. And we look, well, okay, I can't put this on a monthly because the month isn't done yet, but when you put this on a weekly, what you're gonna see. So what you're gonna see, look at this on the weekly. Now this is, the, this is you know, we pushed up with 255 million shares versus 146 million. It's like, okay, that is a nice move, man. You know, so now, where 221 it's got to get back over the 236 without having coming down with volume. You can come down as long as the volume doesn't expand. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we appreciate you growling and prowling out here, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 237, Nasdaq's up 77, SPs are up 28. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. 
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. It's 2016 and TFNN has a brand new programming lineup to kick things off. Starting January 4th, Swim Lessons by Thinkorswim and TD Ameritrade will be airing five days a week at noon Eastern time. Join hosts Scott Connor, Kevin Hinks, and Cindy Faber as they host their daily options program live at noon five days a week with no commercials for the entire hour. Nico DeHaan and Paige Clark will be moving their program, Living a Primal Lifestyle, to twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Wake up with Nico and Paige and start your day off right. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour by Nadex will now be live Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Start and end the week with the three hosts, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin as they break down the world of trading binary options and spreads. For all the details on the new 2016 programming lineup, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors catch basil chapman as he uses his chapman wave methodology to call the markets the tiger technicians hour next on tfnn <laughs> Welcome back, folks. And, of course, uh, folks, don't forget, uh, you stay right there. I'm Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next. Then we're going to uh, TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim headquarters in Chicago. Uh, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White, I'll be back this afternoon. Remember, all of that programming, folks, you can get right on your cell phone, tfnn.com. Just hit Tiger TV. And if you are on uh, Facebook, folks, like us on Facebook. And we do put uh, all these updates in, uh, on Facebook. So uh, if you want to get that update, uh, you can do that on YouTube. You subscribe to us to YouTube, too, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Right. So on YouTube, uh, it's TFNN Corp. Uh, subscribe to us, and we do those updates uh, every morning. Uh, bottom line, it'll it'll be right on the YouTube page. Markets continuing to climb. You yeah, know, you're getting good action on your gold trade. Unfortunately, those Nasdaq trades. We'll see what happens, but the market is showing some strength over and over. Yeah, it is. So the Nasdaq. Uh, so yeah, let's go over the Nasdaq for a second. So let's see what we got here. Can minimize that. Okay. So NQs are up 75. NQU. I believe I sold them when they were up like 72. Okay, so we're right at it again. So, okay, so here we go. Um, you're right at the highs, man. It's yeah. gonna it's gonna test this uh, 4435. We're at 4434. Um, the uh, that last bar that had 9,000 contracts. It's been trying to get into that for you know since the open. It says that's uh, well, no, I, that was the 10 o'clock bar actually. You know, so. We'll see whether it can handle it. Uh, if we go over to the E-minis, we take a look at the E-minis, what you're going to see is they spiked. Last time they had any volume was 2088, and that's where they are. Oh, no, no, that's right. No, that, that 2092, it does have volume up there. But now, do you remember, like, last week how the E-minis were uh, showing us that I thought that you know that the Nasdaq wanted to come down. That's the same thing that's happening right now. So the E mini is not showing the strength that the Nasdaq has right now as it's testing that area. Uh, so when you take a look at that, that brings the probability up a bit that the Nasdaq is not going to be able to handle this price right here. So we're, we're right at it too. It's the uh, it's the high of the day, four four three five, right? Yeah, yeah. four four three five point seven five. You know, and it it doesn't mean that it's going to go dramatically lower if it can't handle it either. You know, because sure. what we, what we do have is that uh, you get Europe uh, seems to be holding that higher price. Everything um, across the board, right? Everything across the board, right? And and including uh, what we didn't have last night. Now this is where this gets wild. When you go to the Shanghai market, you know Shanghai was open last night. Shanghai couldn't handle price. You know, it, it was flat. It wasn't that it was down, but it was flat. Now the Hang Seng. The Nikkei, that, that caught a bid. It's so weird that it looks just like the DAX, man. It's so crazy. When, when these happen, folks, but this is pretty cool, so check this out. You want some information earlier? The, the Hang Seng goes up on 1.6 billion last night. That's after coming down with 2.6 billion. 
So bottom line, and you're going against, so check that out, you're going against 2.1 billion. Yeah. Now that brings the probability higher that that's how we're gonna lay out at the end of the day. Yeah. You're gonna bounce, you're gonna bounce at lighter volume, and uh, guess what? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you better get like airplane, no, what do the pilots wear? They're not the regular seat belts, the, the big strap in strap the jumpsuit. Right? <laughs> That's what it looks like, man. I mean, this is, they're going to rock and roll this thing uh, all over the place, you know? Yeah. What, what's intriguing is that uh, the dollar still can't catch a bid, and it's not like uh, the euro is going to the moon either, you know? And we'll see what happened. Like we saw, we have a Fed governor speaking at 12.15 today. Yeah. We have Yellen speaking tomorrow and Wednesday. We have jobs numbers. We have employment. We have housing, right? Action, baby. Action. You stay right there, folks. Basil's coming right up next. Uh, TD Ameritrade, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Go get them, folks. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.